Now we're going to receive it. There may be some atmospherics. There may be some, there may be some jamming. Pa, 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 pa. There may be some oscillation. Whew, but hang on, CQ. We're just going to receive it now. It's good to see you again, mate. It's been a long time. Welcome to CRH News. Right, right, we've right, just right, finished the lecture. I'm on my last legs. But however, let me introduce you to Caroline and Alison Eckersley. Um, the Eckersley. Um, do you remember a guy called Peter Eckersley? Why are they so important here? Why are you introducing well, you remember a guy called Peter Eckersley? The founder of the BBC, the founder of Riddle. Oh, grandchildren. He was your granddad. And it's, and it's taken many years to finally get hold of you. So all the things I've written about him over the years, it's kind of a family affair, isn't it? It absolutely, and you've it is. really brought him to life for me. And yes. hopefully, I, I was suddenly aware that so those animations on the poetry, I hope we didn't throw you a little bit. If you, uh, I know, I, I, do you know I went and he, and he looked, and he pauses for one second. Yeah, and, so yeah, I, and, that's and I was going to catch him in the eye, I thought if I look at you, it would throw me and I was already on. <laughs> So yeah, so we animated the images um, through, and I have there's a little bit of film there of him. So, um, his but voice I, is, I will his put voice all I will put all this together for you as a package. You've got the books now, so please read that. Um, I've got his two lectures in '53 and '54, which are excellent, and he starts off exactly how I started off. Well, I can't say, uh, yeah, I think you will have better things to do tonight. I actually, look at you, you know you didn't. And he delivers it much better. Very acid, psychotic, but friendly. And during the BBC ones, he actually takes Asperger and Reith on, who are in the audience. And you can tell there is still some tension. I've got them all on recordings, I'll send you those through. Um, and you can listen to your granddad lecturing and telling this story, probably better than I have. Um, but there again, it was his story. What was great was, I played him at the end there, that recording yeah, is a hundred years old. It's actually 90 years old, but not to go there. That is he recreated in 1932 for the BBC. There are no original recordings of Grandad from the period. They didn't have the LJ. They brought him back to the BBC for the, for the 10th anniversary. That aside, take a little bit of magic away, but still, that recording was played to over 200 children at Ritton during their heritage and the school children. They were laughing their socks off. When he plays Gridlico, non furiative transmission, like bangs the piano, he can't sing. They generally found it funny. I must have heard it a thousand times. I spell it and the audience laughed. Now that is quite something actually, if you think about it. So as you drive home tonight, yeah, your granddad was quite special. Hello CQ, hello CQ. This is 2 Emma Talk Rittle Testing. This is 2 Emma Talk Rittle Testing. Tonight we have a most marvellous thing that's going to happen. We are going to receive Rome, that famous Italian tenor that famous Italian teller, what's his name? Gridlico is going to sing Non Puto Ferrari Pantissimo, which being translated means um, it's very difficult. CQ, the concert's ended. Sad Wales, the heterodyne. You must soon switch off your valves. I must soon switch off mine. Now we're going to receive it. There may be some atmospherics. There may be some, there may be some jamming. Pa, 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 pa. There may be some oscillation. Whew, but hang on, CQ. We're just going to receive it now.